moment silence here in the venue. Well observed by everyone. It's rock and roll time here in Budapest as we welcome out the athletes for the women's Epe Grand Prix semi-final. the bronze medalist from Tokyo 2020. In the individual competition, the Estonian will take on Anna Kuhn, 26-year-old here for her first major medal. So two superpowers of the sport in the other semi-final. Alberto Santuccio, the world number 38, takes on the world number three from Korea, Choi Eun-jun. getting announced out here. Henkelman and Baskins take control of the matches supported by Rodriguez and Borosak. So we see the top of the order, Lehis in a tight fight against Rosella Fiamingo, double world champion, to make it through to this semi-final. Please start the match. Please start the match. Faces Anna Kun, who took out Hong Manway Vivian to make it through. Lehis, number two seed, number two in the world. I say it's not been on the best form, but hey, how good is it if you're not on great form to make it through to the medal matches? Kun here looking to continue the marvelous form she's had today and making it this medal match. Looking to cheer up the crowd here. Maddie's Henkelman ready to get us underway. Semi final number one. And we're underway in Budapest. Anna Kun from Budapest herself, world number 37, has not ever claimed a World Cup or a Grand Prix fencing medal. Goes up against Lehis, who became Estonia's first ever. Olympic fencing medalist, and it is Lehis who gets us off the mark. Lehis, well decorated, uh, picked up the European Championships in uh, 2018 in Novi Sad, Serbia. Um, of course, claimed that Olympic medal just a few months back in Tokyo. <laughs> Actually, got two because she teamed up. And after getting the bronze in the individual, managed to go two better and get the Olympic title in the women's team event. If you're new to uh, this marvelous sport, welcome. Thanks for joining us for the ride. Target score is 15 points for the win, and the fencers will fence over three three-minute periods if required. Epe is a point weapon, so you've got to hit your opponent with the tip of your sword. 
and the whole body's target. It's the easiest of the fencing weapons to understand, actually, because it is literally hit and don't get hit as Anna Kun lands her first of the semi-final. That will settle her nerves, that's for sure. They're feeling themselves out here. They're just trying to find a way through to each other. And fascinatingly, these two have never, ever met in competition. Now, there is something called passivity in Epe. If we don't have a hit for a minute of fencing, then the referee will call halt as he does now. Matthias Hinkelmann straight on the money there. A minute without any fencing and both fencers getting what's called a P yellow card, a passivity card for the pair of them. That happens again, which you can't in this period because there was only 30, 39 seconds left on the clock before they'll go to a minute break. But if it happens again in the fight, whoever is trailing will get a card, a second card, and their opponent will get a hit. So what these fencers are doing right now is just trying to find a moment to attack their opponent. Of course, the sword hand is the closest point that you can hit. So you will hear the guard pinging as the tips of the blades bounce around it. But we come through that first three minutes and we're all square, uh, one apiece. And the two fences will go and have a chat with their coaches. There's Lehis. Superstar at home now, Katrina Lehis, after that first ever Olympic medal for Estonia. With Nikolai Novozhilov, a double world champion himself, now coaching the team. The Hungarians have got a whole raft of coaches here today. Kun with her personal coach getting some advice. And what they're talking about now is the tactics. They're just from being reminded of what it is that the game plan is for this. I mean, it doesn't last very long, but of course they get an opportunity to take on board some water, which is much needed after such a long day of competition. Second period of this semi-final place in the gold medal match up for grabs. Kun has done her best ever to make it this far. And she's up against the world number two, Katrina Lehis. Second period of this semi final match. Lays is a, a fencer who likes to play just around at the hitting distance. Not often the case for a, a tall fencer. They like to stay at long distance and try and pick off their shorter opponents as they come in. Lays likes to play around right at distance and so keeps her opponents on her toes at all times. Requires a very disciplined approach. Luring Kun into making an attack, she tricked her into saying, You can hit me, I'm close enough, you can come and get me. And then defended herself and landed the hit herself. Now it may not seem much, but a one hit lead with passivity already called. He's very valuable. Oh, close quarters. It's a surprise that neither of them were able to manage to land a hit there. Nice hit from Kun there. Really clever there. Clipping her opponent as she got into distance. Coach looking on clearly has given this instruction. Doesn't want to go chasing after it though. Azok, akik érdeklődnek a vívás iránt, és kilátogattak. 
döntőkre, az elődöntőkre és a döntőkre. Meg volt a penge, csak a visszaszúrás nem volt vele jó védett. A nagy látszórással próbálkozik. Ez az jó látni, hogy Anna most már annyira felnőtt a mezőnyhöz, hogy, hogy, hogy a részt virányosra kertessen, mert neki nagyon neki rontani. Úgyhogy kivívta, kivívta a tiszteletet. Meg volt a pengéje Hannának, és onnan befejezte Lehis. So you start to get the sense uh, as Novozhilov looks on at Lehis, you just get very close off of the blade being taken there through and round into uh, a sort of a, a line of septim, it's called, a low line across the body. She collected her blade there, so that prevents Kun from being able to score a hit herself. Nice action there from Katrina Lehis, and it seems to me that she is definitely going to keep in the, this idea of pressing and pushing to lure her opponent out and then react off her. Kun, on the other hand, is looking to pick off hits around the guard by the looks of things. They're trying again to try and flick around inside the guard to get a hit. Moment, a tactical battle being won by the Estonian. So good patient work there from Anna Kun. Cancelled out uh, one of the hits that uh, Leigh has scored after a period of around about 45 seconds of no hits. Now he's got one earlier on, and uh, Kun has got one back, so he's back within one hit. Lay is keen to uh, press that open a little bit further, but they'll come to the end of this second period. Highly tactical battle, and Kun has stayed as close as she possibly can to Katrina Lehis. But Lehis, the Estonian, leading 4-3. Well, Kun there, 26 years old, was the world number 37 coming into this. So she's been climbing up the rankings. This is going to push her an awful lot further. Kun herself came through Jeremy Cavedo of Colombia. Impressive victory over Li Hain of Korea, followed by an even more impressive victory over Kong Manway Vivian of Hong Kong. Lay his number one seed for the competition, highest seed here, number two in the world, came through Mavrikiu of Cyprus, Dimaki of Italy, and Doi Calderon of Peru. Followed by a great victory over double world champion Marcella Fiamingo. So we now see the first change or significant change of tactics. Lehis now deciding to press and finish the attack. So what she's decided is the way to victory and a place in the gold medal match. But look at this from Anna Kun. 
anything you can do, I can do better, she says, as she comes out on the attack herself. Brave move as well against a much taller fencer to attack from that distance. A little bit of body evasion as well with the hit. Well, there's a limited crowd here for um, well-documented reasons, uh, and they are delighted to see one of their own giving it their all here. Another attack from distance from Anna Kun. Coach is happy with it. This time, Leis gets away with a double. The only fencing weapon where both fencers can score at the same time is the Epe. You see Leis continuing to look for the press, and if anything, the shorter fencer in Anna Kun is keeping the distance longer. To negate the step lunge attack from the Estonian. And you see the Estonian just creeping in and out of distance. Bit of a lucky one there, but uh, Leis acknowledges that. So just under a minute and 30 seconds to go in the match and uh, Kun is going to find herself in a situation where she has to press. And that is going to play into Leis's hands. She wants to get this scoreline level sooner rather than later. Busy on the blade, Blahis keeping Kun active and busy, but she is so patient, waiting for that moment. She's waiting for the moment when Lehis has done a couple of beats and then lifts her hand up, and that's the moment to launch. We're going to get it here. So looking for that blade, and then when she's down, the disengage lunge attack works beautifully. And this time, she's come straight out of the blocks and gone for it. Now what happens? Now what happens? Now she has the lead. Does she try and contain? Pressure switches over to Leahis here. Down by a hit. Less than a minute of fencing to go. Kun keeping her busy and Kun going for it again. This time a bit of variety shown there. Taking the blade this time in Octave, a low line parry and sliding it through onto the target. To hit with what's called opposition, putting your opponent's blade and pushing it out of the way. Two hit lead here is massive, just over 30 seconds to go. Can Kun make her first ever medal? At least a silver one. Oh, again, beautiful. So this time, changing the line, and this is what fencers have to do. There are nine lines in fencing, but we won't go into all of those. What they have to do is they have to trick their opponent into defending a line and then going elsewhere, this time coming over the top of the blade in what's called a closing cart hit to the hip. So now Leis has no choice. She has to go chasing after it. Yes, Kun out onto a, perhaps a, a little bit of an ill-judged attack. Novozhilov marking the orders at Leis. She can't muck about here. Még 
Előbb-utóbb jönni fog le és erre készülhet Anna is biztos. Ó, oh, megvan a pengefogás. Sajnos egy lámpás, ott a kilencedik találata. Megint lehet tud látni. Sokkal többet kell nézni. Tizenállás, akkor ennyit kell kihúzni. Gyerünk, jelmet, a Hungarian crowd being urged on by all the coaches in the building to get behind Anna Kun. Pressing again, trying to take the blade, but Lehis evaded it. Another attack. This time a beat attack. Still leads by one point, and now, as you can see, we're inside 10 seconds. Lehis has got to go chasing. Oh, another double, but oh, crikey, I think that was pretty close. Kun only just about scoring within the time frame to get that double hit. <laughs> Trying to find the blade and take hold of it, Lehis. A, a good piece of evasion there. A stuttered retreat from uh, Anna Kun afforded her the opportunity to land another single light. Lehis has to go for it, ducking counter this time, and Kuhn has all but done this. She is going to be in the final here in Budapest on home turf. 0.89 of a second left. I think they'll just salute, and that'll be it. And what a tremendous victory for Anna Kuhn of Hungary. She goes through to the Budapest Epe Grand Prix women's final. Super stuff, a 14-11 victory over Katrina Lehis, the world number two. Anna Kuhn, well, her stock is rising. She's through to the final here in Budapest. Fantasztikus, és legrosszabb esetben is ezüstérem, de ne arról beszéljünk, hogy mi van a legrosszabb esetben, hanem reméljük, hogy sikerül a hazai környezet előtt az aranyérmet megszerezni, és ott van az arcán a mosoly. Confirmation now that Anna Kuhn has made it through to the women's EPE final here at the Budapest Grand Prix. És, hölgyem és köveim, most ünnepélyes pillanatokkal folytatjuk, mielőtt jönne a második előző itt a hölgyek versenyében, hiszen érkezik Csapa Zsolt. And the score confirmed 14-11 for Kun, who's going to be climbing the rankings, and she's also going to be climbing the podium for the very first time in a senior international here on home soil in Budapest. Lehis will be on the podium, but she will be a little disappointed having not made it through to the final here as the top-ranked fencer in the field. But I'm just wondering if she's uh, suffering a little bit today. She has not been on fire as we have seen her most recently. Demián Lídia, Demián Sándor özvegye. The winner of the former Hungarian businessman, Sándor Demián, the second flower. Rejtő Hildikó, kétszeres olimpiai bajnok. A nemzet sportolója. The two-time Olympic champion, Rejtő Hildikó. So the Olympic gold medalist of the Rio Games, Emese Szászkovács.